but we did have some promotions over the week. Yeah. So um, Thomas Harrington and Bubba Chandler both promoted the AAA Indianapolis. So they're both one day, one, one step closer to the major. So that's, that's awesome to hear. Um, you know, you, you love to see them kind of get to that last step and it's going to be interesting to see how they do in Indy. Indy Indianapolis all of a sudden went from like a beginning of the year, a very uninteresting in- team. Uh, and now after the trade deadline, um, after these, these promotions, they're, uh, they're probably the most interesting team in the, in the, in the organization. So yeah, let's, let's kind of just talk about, let's talk about, let's talk about who performed this week. Okay. Um, I, I, speaking of, uh, speaking of that, uh, Bubba Chandler, um, definitely, um, earned it, earned his way up to, to Indy with that last start, another, um, seven inning, no walk performance. I think that's, at, at that point, that's kind of like the key thing for me. Um, is just him limiting the, the walks. He's only four of the last 26 innings that he's pitched. Um, just everything's kind of just clicking there now for him. You know, fastball's working. The breaking pitches are, are, are looking a lot better. The, the changeup is, like, I, I, I feel like multiple times now you kind of see, like, the, the – other people who are watching the game, they'll they'll mention the changeup and something like that is like a oh wow this has really become a weapon now and, and and stuff like that. So yeah, very 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 deserving of the promotion, and uh, it's exciting to see him. Like you said, one step away now from from the majors. Yeah, I think um, it's the biggest thing too is just how exciting it is. Like he's right there. Yeah, it's no longer yeah. like you know Bubba Chandler the. The near future, but still the future. He's he's right there now. He's it's right just there. becoming a true reality of him being a Pittsburgh Pirate. Yeah. And and as we've kind of seen, like once pitchers show that they're ready in AAA, the Pirates haven't necessarily been holding them back. Like if one if a pitcher shows they're ready, they they call upon them when when needed. So yeah, it's it's fun to see seven strikeouts in his start uh, this past week. Seven innings, no walks, like you mentioned, just three hits. Um, he, what an outstanding season he had in Altoona, especially with like he went through those so, some rough patches too with, yeah. with the injury going down. You know his his command was off for a while there, and then really ever since ever since like the end of May when he came off that that IL stint, he's been. He's been really good. So well-earned promotion for Bubba Chandler. He is the number one prospect uh, in the organization. Uh, depending on what publication you look at, he's you know top thirty overall, uh, and even that I think is too low. Like I think like you could you could make an argument for Bubba Chandler being the best right-handed pitching prospect uh, in baseball right now, and and it, it's you'd have to make a case, but like no one's going to laugh at you. <laughs> if you, yeah, if you no, no, he, he's gaining ground quickly on anyone who was pretty far ahead of him at the beginning of this season. I, I, yeah. I would say. So. I got a question for you. And this is, this is just, we've never seen the pirates do this, but Bubba Chandler should have plenty of innings to throw this year. Come the end of this month. Mm-hmm. If the Pirates are still in this thing, do you just say, "Hey, screw it, Bubba"? September call up, pitch some pitch for pitch in the bullpen, be a weapon for us. I mean, is that outside the realm of possibility? Can Pirates fans just say, "You know what? That's not happening," or is that something that could possibly happen? You think? Well, I mean, I, I know I've mentioned it on here a couple times. It kind of it kind of feels like we're we're in like the uncharted water kind of thing with, when it comes to the Pirates because, like I said. Beginning of the year, we would have never assumed Jared Jones had a legitimate shot at making the opening day rotation. Uh, zero shot that like someone like Paul Skeens would be up before like the Super Two deadline and stuff like that. And both of those happened. Um, so I guess I guess it could happen. I don't know. I, th- I think he's around like eighty innings right now, and he threw about like a hundred and ten. And to be technical, like there's still like pretty much two full months left in the triple a season because they go pretty deep into September. So I don't know. It dep- I guess it just depends how he's feeling, how the pirates are doing. Um, also too, like this year's off, obviously if they're still in it, it's a lot different than like other years too, to where like other years at the end of the year, it's kind of like, like, you know, who really cares? So this kid in here, see what, see what he got. 
but also to, you got to kind of balance that with like throwing a a twenty one year old rookie who's not going to have much experience past in in triple a if you're calling him up early september and stuff like that and be like okay well finding the right situation for you to to kind of break you into you got to kind of balance that too obviously not going to just throw him out there and be like okay well here's the seventh inning and we're we're up by two runs against uh, another playoff caliber team and then like he he goes out there and and does what holderman does and then you're kind of like well i mean we just shot ourselves in the foot because we put a rookie out there in, in that kind of situation. So mm-hmm. you got to kind of balance about balance that and stuff like that. I mean, it, it would be fun. It would be electric. It'd be fun to watch uh, Bubba Chandler and in one inning outings. You probably hits triple digits at some point. So, but at, at this point, I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of at the point where I said, never say never with, with this stuff. Cause we've seen, stuff happened this year that we wouldn't expected. So I guess right. it could happen. I probably, I probably wouldn't just because just let him round out starting, let him get as much experience and stuff like that. And then just have him go into next year. Like, like with Jared Jones with a legit shot to make the rotation kind of thing. I mean, if an injury comes you. up, I if, think if the, if, if, if the pirates are in it, come like August 31st or whatever, you just bring them up. You bring him up. I mean, and I mean, and you stick them in. You 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 let it. You ease them in for that first like week or two, but then towards the end of the year, he's your he's your back end bullpen weapon. I mean, it's risky. It is. I, I'm it, with it you, is. but like, how would talk about Colin Horderman? Could you imagine? You know, being September fifteenth, you're like, we lost the season because of Bubba Chandler. Hey, you know what? At least you went for it. Like that's that's my thing. Like if if you're in the situation to go for it, you've got to go for it. That's now, me. to be fair, didn't he close out the futures game and the breakout game? I mean, yeah, he did. He's saying, yeah, he's prepared. I, I he's mean, ready. He's got that. If, if, if he goes, if he goes here and like the entire month of August, he just completely shoves in AAA, and like I mean, you still have. I mean, like Majinski's out right now. If you're having other guys still kind of struggle, and he like is clearly a guy who probably, I mean, can get those outs and stuff like that. Sure, why not? I mean, if yeah. you're if you're in it to like kind of win it, then then go for it, kind of thing. But like also to you start adding all these guys to to the forty man and stuff like that. Your your roster flexibility for for like next year and going forward and stuff like that, you're you're really at that point like you're all in on on these guys being your depth guys starting next year. So like if someone like Bubba maybe doesn't do well in 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 AAA to start and he clearly probably is going to need more like a month's worth and stuff like that, you do it. It's nice and everything like that, but then you're also sold into him maybe being like that next guy in the rotation if, if something happens at the beginning of the year kind of thing. So, yeah, no, that's, I, that's a fair point. Um, I think, it, I think if you're just, if you're in a situation where the games matter so much and, and they're, they're still in it and it's like, Hey, I can upgrade my bullpen from Jake Woodford or Dennis Santana to Bubba Chandler. I'm just, I'm doing it. Like, that's just, that's, I'll I mean, figure out next year. Next year, you know, <laughs> September, like September, uh, whatever, whatever the uh, the last Monday is in August and stuff like that. That'd be something like, okay, well, let's revisit that then. Let's see how he's done in AAA, and more importantly, let's see where the Pirates are at at that point. Yeah, n- that that, that plays a big part. Season. I'm like, I, I'm yeah. perfectly okay with like revisiting it, like once we get to that point. But like, also, like, I, I want to see Bubba in AAA first to see. To see what he looks like. You're so stuff. selfish. I know. You and your pro, your pro, your hoarding prospects in the minors, Murphy. Right. Hey, well, hey, I, I, got got o- I got over them we trading all those guys. That was, that was <laughs> we, a big step for me. I got we over them see, trading. We want to see them. All right, <laughs> let's um, let let's. So Bubba, Bubba in AAA now. He makes his first start in Indian, in Indianapolis. I would guess probably. He pitched, around, what, what did he pitch Friday? He Friday? pitched on the second, so he'll probably pitch on the the ninth, eighth, eighth. So if he pitched on Friday. It, it the next schedule would be Thursday. 
Yeah. Um, they may push it back a day or something like that just to line up with certain things and stuff like that. I have to check like the yep. indie rotation and stuff like that. So it should week. start towards the end of this week. 